This is what Kali really is. It's a term from the 20s, 19, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It was, it was much more in use back then. She is a grifter. The mistake, even I made the mistake, calling her a sociopath, sick, crazy, whatever the case is, right? What that does is that passes responsibility from her onto an illness or even to the Illuminati or the Masons or Monarch or some other bullshit that she talks about. She's none of those. She's just a fucking con artist, right? And you can see to engage in swindling or cheating, to obtain by swindling or cheating, okay? All right, here we go. A grifter is somebody who influences anybody anywhere at any time into doing whatever they choose to have them do. That will result in the grifter's personal gain. Kali's case, right? Cameras, etc., and money. Trying to sell bullshit clothing. Jeez, I looked at that video. What a fucking joke that was, right? It's absolutely not all of these technical things that puts this person in a specific box or particular genre or criminal. A person who operates a sideshow at a circus, fix, especially a gambling attraction. Eh, that is definitely what this crazy bitch does. You know? To obtain money or property illicitly as in a confidence game. You know what I mean? It's like, that's all it is. She's just a fucking con artist. That's all. A con artist. You know what I mean? Let's hear some of this. Now, because she's trying to sell not just her now. She wants to, she's trying to sell her friend, Misty Chadwick, as an Illuminati ghost writer. Fucking, it's unbelievable. It is. It's unbelievable, this fucking chick. She'll say anything to make a fucking buck. She will. She's a fucking hound. She can smell a fucking dollar a hundred miles away, I swear to God. You throw it in the Rio Grande and this bitch was in Canada, she'd be fucking screwing right down there to get that fucking buck out of that river. So, I just want to ask you guys, my subscribers, to please, please, please help out a fellow ghostwriter who's going through a really hard time right now. Her name is Misty Chadwick, and she's my friend at cloning. Um, she's an incredibly talented songwriter, and just like... Uh, the rest of us ghostwriters, she's a slave as well. The Illuminati does not pay us jack shit. In fact... All right. So that's her friend. Right? They don't pay them jack shit. And let's see. Now, I'm not going to go through all the comments. But Misty Chadwick actually comments a lot on this video. I, pull, I pulled up all the... the the replies I made them all up because God knows they probably ain't gonna last that fucking long and start deleting this shit right I did not make a GoFundMe for this but Kali put my business GoFundMe one in the description for anyone curious thank you to anyone that donates from me and my two daughters and you know get a job and pay your own bills it comes back I have a job. I was robbed. I am also a single mother. Her job is making soaps and lotions and probably all another con artist bullshit. You know? Right here. Let's see. This is the GoFundMe. Now, I'm just going to do this so we can read this here. I am a single mother of two amazing children. They are my life. God has given me the talent to make soaps, shampoo, face cream, toner, face wash, and just about anything you could imagine. But he hasn't taught me how to make money. <laughs> All my products are handmade, 100% organic and chemical free. I also make an amazing blend for ADHD and sensory. I know my business will be successful. I just need some help getting it started. All donations are greatly appreciated. Thank you so much in advance, Misty. Well, we're not going to go through these fucking comments. I can tell you that right now. But I just want to show you. And of course, boring, she has it shared 
when you click on a different name. And here, if you go down and you click on these this link here, it gives you this, the shared account. And I'm going to tell you something. Kali has her, in this picture, Kali has her hair combed differently. The part on here is on the left side. But in her other videos, it's on the right side. Oh, we part it different over here. No. Stop pointing out the flaws in my stuff. They do what they can to keep us impoverished because they think that, you know, um, the more we suffer, the better our art and ideas and creativity is, which is bullshit. But um, I wanted to ask the, my subscribers, the public, if you could please help out Misty Chadwick. She's had to deal with um, several break-ins and incidents um, where she lives in Texas. And Let me go right down to the bottom so I can get this out of the way. Right, let me get it right out of the way. I never said she lied, y'all. This is Misty, right? I said she truly believes that. So she's saying that whatever, you know, Kali says, Kali believes this. Bullshit. And I do not have a memory of it, and I am not a clone. I have RH blood. My beliefs are RH blood cannot be cloned. But I do not shame my friends for her beliefs. She says she remembers me from there. Sure. Crazy fuck. You can see for yourself. Here we go. Now she does it down here. I wanted to take a minute to tell you all about myself. I, am I a clone? No. Do I have memories of a cloning center? No. What I do have is PTSD. I have been kidnapped in my life, beat, raped. Can't even spell rape, raped. Then he burnt down the apartment I was in. I found my father hanging from a rope in 2010. Now, Kali, yes, believes she knows me from cloning. I am not one to shame my friends. When my father was very depressed, he would say many things, all of which I, I wish I could hear again. Grief, pain, and trauma come out in many ways. I love Kali, and from the bottom of my heart, I know her intentions are pure. Yeah, pure like fucking Satan's bitch. And that being said, the amount of harassment I am receiving over this video is not okay. Then stop being a con artist, piece of rat shit. And guess what? People won't go on your page and say, Hey, listen, little rat bitch. Misty rat bitch Chadwick. Fucking idiot. Now, you can think you just say whatever the fuck you want without any proof. Fucking rat. But that being said, the amount of harassment is not okay. I want Kali to keep the video up. Because I know Kali wants to help others and I consider her a great friend. That's like saying, keep the video up because I like fucking being harassed. I... I still can't realize my ooh, friend is a fucking con artist piece of shit. And I wish others would just stop hating on her. Hating on her. This fucking, she can't even spell. What is she like, fucking a 10, 9? I am truly in an emergency situation and I did not make a new GoFundMe. Kali wanted to help me, so she linked the one I had that was active. Thanks and God bless. Then she should say, God bless Satan, motherfuckers, because you are some evil, dirty bitches. Look at She has her own business. She goes, doesn't have a PayPal. PayPal is like fucking an automatic fucking thing for a business on the web today, right? So many hacked through it. The fuck out of here. You do PayPal because the shit's guaranteed. You won't get fucking ripped off. Unbelievable. This is a good one. Why, if you believe you are friends with someone who claims to know Satan? Well, I can't read this shit. I had a talk with her about that. And when you have Christ in your heart, you do not judge others. You lead them back to the light. This fucking broad makes me sick just as much as Kali does. Really. She sent me the police reports um, to prove to you guys, like, she's she's had problems with people breaking into her house and robbing her. Um... So, like, first time was in um, January, and then it happened again this month. 
Um, so she's down $750 from this last incident. I'll show you the report right here. And we'll close it there, but I pulled it up here so I could fuck with it even better. So this is the police report she's saying. And there ain't nothing on this fucking thing. You know, theft, 100, you know, 100 to 750. Carly goes 750. There's nothing on here. You can pull this up on any fucking computer. Print it up on your machine if you want to spend $18 to get some ink for your printer. Okay? And bang, you could fucking put anything you want in this bad boy. It's all bullshit. Fucking retards. So, there's that. There's that. She also had a, um, she had to deal with a, uh, car accident too where somebody else totally just messed up her car she sent me that crash report as well i'll show you that right now you know insurance would cover that right should be fully if the other person's fault come on so there's this crash report there's that let's go to the other i pulled it up already we can just pull it here There ain't shit on this. There's nothing on this. Nothing. 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 Basic bullshit. Basic bullshit. I don't even, you know, there would, there's, there's nothing. Nothing even from the police officer. You know what I mean? It's all bullshit. Fucking, like you can't fucking make this shit up, man. I swear to God, you cannot make this shit up. And um, so she's having a really hard time. Like, the Illuminati is trying to keep her impoverished. They try to keep me impoverished. They they don't want us to um, be financially secure or anything like that. So. We have literally no choice but to ask for help, and um, I appreciate everyone who can donate. You know, everything everything helps. So her GoFundMe is in the description in this video. Um, so please go help out Misty Chadwick. She appreciates it a lot. Um, she asked me to do this video for her um, because she doesn't have the. Um, the right setup to be making YouTube videos at this point, but it's something that she wants to do in the future So I, I encourage her to um, Do that when she's able to um, Another thing too is that this just goes along with why we need the app the cycle of giving um, If you remember from my previous videos, I talked about um, the creation of this app um, my old social worker my old social work professor Carlos McRae um, he gave me the inspiration to want to put together a more articulate design to A, revolutionize the world of social work, B, connect the police to victims, and C, um, make it a lot easier for people to get emergency funding and also the time in between people donating money to someone and them actually physically receiving it. Um, for an example with GoFundMe, when you first start your GoFundMe, you don't get your funds immediately. You have to wait a long time. And if you're in an emergency situation, GoFundMe doesn't care. Um, you still have to wait a really long time to get any funds from the donations you receive. and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hurting for money too right now, so there's that, but this is why we need the app, The Cycle of Giving, because there is absolutely a need for people to receive monetary funds instantaneously. Like, why do we have to wait, like, eight to ten business days, business days, so that doesn't include weekends. This is GoFundMe's, um, scheme. Yeah, um, if you are, you know, impoverished and you need emergency money, 
it's, uh, it, 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 that's a very long time to wait. So I just want to ask you guys to please help out um, a fellow good person and good friend, uh, Misty Chadwick. She's a fellow ghostwriter. And um, yeah, just, just keep the cycle of giving going. Um, it's good for your soul and it's good for society. So keep a generous heart and it all comes back to you. It really does. So thank you so much. Love you guys and peace out. Stupid fucking bitch. You can't make that fucking shit up, man. She does. I mean, you got to be a professional con artist for this shit. And that's what she is. That's exactly what this crazy bitch is. Fucking no shit. Wow.